Hey guys, Vegan Mr. Narvi here, back with another video, and today I'm back with some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last episode, we went through the first part of our first trial, well, first part of our first trial for Turnabout Big Top, in which this man right here is accused of murder, and, um, he's saying that he didn't go anywhere near the crime scene because everyone else is saying that they saw him go to the crime scene. Uh, yeah, where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. And while were you there, it was... Wow, wow, wow. While you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Exactly. He told me to wait in the room because he'd be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to see the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But... The ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Uh, okay, sorry, you just remembered something? Okay. When you got there, I went ahead to... Okay. Which means... It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. <laughs> well done, Nick. Uh, why would the ringmaster want to dress up? You know what? That's just probably part of the mystery that we're going to find out later in this trial. All they found at the crime scene was... That's true. They didn't find the cloak or the roses. Um, no. I, I don't think I can handle Max being a detective. Magician or present? I think magician is much more realistic. I, I think Magician is far more realistic than... This mystery just keeps getting deeper. Like I said, these trials are never done in one day. The only one that's done in one day is a tutorial trial. Otherwise, you're there for a while. Now that everyone is back, let's get started. The court is now back in session. Ms. Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well. I will now call my next witness. A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Will Mr. Lawrence Curls please take the stand? Why did she just call him a pitiful clown? I mean, you've heard his jokes, right? Oh, that's also rather, uh... The state in which he appears also is rather pitiful. Let's see, okay. You alright, Mo? Wait, his name is Lawrence Curls? <laughs> I forgot that he has that little bit. It's a little parody of Fresh Prince. Oh, I forgot that he has that. That's like the one funny thing that Mo says throughout this entire case. Will the witness please? Uh, what? Will the witness please inform the court why is he why he is speaking autobiographical gibberish? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited this sort of occasion. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club. Since it is easy to see your application, please state your name for the court. Did I say application? Oh yeah, maybe the joke is okay. Okay. Mo. Yeah, no. You're not, you're not getting a laugh. You're not really getting out of the lap. You're not really getting a laugh out of this courtroom, buddy. But a couple of clowns who were up to no good started making trouble in the. Uh, anyways, Lawrence Curls. I, I I didn't know his name was Lawrence Curls. Or maybe I just didn't pay attention to the fact that his name is Lawrence Curls. Like that is, um. That's a that's a that's a rather unfortunate name. A rabbi, a priest, and a Rastafari. Rasta what? Rastafarian? Aw, poor Mo can't be his normal stoogy self in the court. Well, yeah, it's a court of law. You gotta just deliver facts. That's usually how it is. Okay, let's talk about what you witnessed. I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able, I haven't been able to make people laugh for ten years. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken a laugh at them myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. 
The best of my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless. But I keep trying. I even tried to come up with jokes just for today. Well, this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to, make, to try making everyone laugh. Seriously, everyone. What do you think of me? How am I doing? This, that was, that was, that, that. Um, aren't we the ones who are supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness. Huh? We will listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. Thus, please stick to the facts of this case. Really? You'll hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. I think she just volunteered gumshoe. <laughs> I think she just uh, evolved to go. Leah, let's let's try again with that testimony, can we? I'll talk. Okay, well, let's start with what you saw that night. Yeah, we'll get into the other stuff later. <laughs> the night of the murder, after practice was over, I went straight back to my room. You have no idea how tired I, how tired I was that night. I was poop. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was a ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clocked the ringmaster over the head. That's very interesting. This eyewitness account is to be believed. I have enough to pass judgment right now. Of course you can. There's no way that this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, uh, how do you say... Off kilter. Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. That must be because of my insecure smile. Mr. Wright, please begin the defense's cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, you've got to find some kind of contradiction in his testimony. I know that. Mr. Wright? Your Honor? I'm afraid that if you push this witness too far, it would bring disaster upon the court. Boss, I sincerely hope you're not going to engage in pointless saber... saber rattling? I understand, Your Honor. If you cause this clown to stray from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the corny jokes. Anyways, the point is that if you press him wrong, you'll get penalized. So I believe in the last game I said you could get away by pressing every statement until you find the right one. You can't really do that that much now, because if you press the wrong statement, then you'll get penalized. So you're gonna need to uh, legitimately think this through and figure out what statement's kind of weird. Um, so you're gonna press on this statement that it says he's gonna go straight to sleep. You just happen to glance out of the window? <laughs> you could say that. You could say also peeked, stared, glimpsed, peeped, eyeballed. Mr. Curls. Oh, I guess synonyms aren't allowed either. What should I do? I wonder if I press him, if I should press him further on this issue. Keep pressing. Keep, keep pressing. There we go. Exactly why did you look out of the window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? That's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday... Once I tucked myself in the bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You forgot? Your Honor, the witness looked out of his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that thump, didn't I? That's not something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah, what she said. I believe it would be best if Mo were to revise his testimony. And so he does. This should start turning the tables in our favor. It should. Anyways, I heard a large noise that sounded the window. A large noise? A huge noise that sounded the window. And that's what made me look outside. You gotta press on that statement as well. What was the sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like... Uh, I guess he could say... Mr. Carls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. Oh, I know I was going to make a joke! 
I guess the sound sounded like, uh... I suppose it sounded like someone getting hit with something very hard. Yep, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Someone getting hit. Huh. What then? You went to look out the window, and you saw... You can't really press anything until... Yeah, Max Clock and Ringmaster over the head. You say you saw the Ringmaster get clonked over the head? Yes, I did. It's a Climax of Bike story. He really does enjoy the completely random non... Non what? Phoenix, you're not French. Or Latin. What would you say the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea. Open wasn't found at the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. You did say you... You did say you did see everything, didn't you? Well, I... Um, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no I didn't. I didn't see a weapon. <laughs> Mo! Did you or did you not see the crime of murder committed that night? Objection! I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what's waiting for you. A nice penalty! Isn't this a bit melodramatic? Yeah, that's half of our life bar. So what'll it be then, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not see the crime? Of course I do! Because we wouldn't press if we didn't. I've got a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you'll be telling us all that great reason? Of course I will. The reason is the witness's very own testimony. What is the meaning of that, Mr. Wright? Mo said that he heard a sound of a thump of someone getting hit. Mm, he did say that. However, Mo just stated the following under oath. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clocked the ringmaster over the head. If Mo is to be believed when he said he looked out the window upon hearing a sound, there's no way that he could have seen Max Clock anyone. In 1972, a crack clown. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it's 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 funny. Like the West, the uh, Fresh Prince parody. It's funny. Mr. Carls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit the what? Oh God. Mr. Carls, are you reciting the C theme? C team theme to anger this court? No, 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 I'm just stalling for time while I jog my memory. Great job, Nick! These types of witnesses always seem to have a selective memory. You just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. Maya does not seem impressed. Oh, you're back from your jog? Well, it pretty much happened the way I said. Pretty much? When I looked out my window that night, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow. The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps in my statement. Von... Von Karma! Tampering with the witnesses again! So now you are saying that you did not see the defendant clonk the ringmaster? It, yes. When I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already been checked out. Checked out? Yup. He was on permanent vacation, as they say. <laughs> Master Curls. Your Honor, you did not witness the actual crime. However, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? Y yes, exactly! The ringmaster was slumped over and I saw someone's silhouette next to him. Very well, then please testify to the silhouette you saw. I expect the truth. And if I catch... If I even catch a hint of a joke from you, I will put you in a holding cell until you learn court etiquette. Got it? Got it. Ooh, that sound hurt my voice. It was a bit far away, but that shadow could only belong to Max. There's no doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. His silk hat, that black cloak, they were all there. His face was silhouetted, but there's no doubt that it was him. His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Okay. Hmm. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. It took the clown long enough to get his facts straight. But whatever. This should finally be good enough, yes? It, it is decisive testimony. 
Was Max really at the crime scene that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. All right, Mr. Wright, commence your cross-examination. I feel like I should show you guys what happens if uh, you press on a statement that's, um, any, uh, 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 sorry. I feel like I should show you guys what happens if you press on a statement and get penalized, pe penalized for it. But maybe that, maybe I'll do that another time. Right now you want to present the Max G promo poster on this, on this statement right here. That's like his silk hat, his black cloak. You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols? I suppose so. The silk hat and cloak, right? Mo. Everyone knows that Maximin Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yay! Everyone get ready! All together now! Yeah, silk hat, cloak, and white roses. What the? Who cares if he knew that there were three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Mo? Do you like why I love my three Oh, Silence, fool! You are responding with the whole truth! No fractions! That was a decimal, but okay. Order, order! Mo! You didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. Objection! The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it's too dark to see that kind of detail. Objection. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses were white. There's no way you could have missed them. Then the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Clearly not. He's just toying with the court. I've got her on the ropes now. These seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to the truth yet. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trillo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? How would you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trillo saw them all. Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims that there were no white roses on the person he saw. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Mm. Now what am I supposed to think? One is supposed to disregard the pointless, but this... Judge! Forget the roses! Think about his other testimony! This witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast down on the prosecution's case. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that, unlike wine, this witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable, which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? If there are no contradictions in his next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance! Well, let's get... let's get the truth here, yeah? There's no doubt in my mind, there were no white roses that night. However, all of the under symbols were there. I'm pretty sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Just one chance? I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against this witness. If you are going to prove to me that there is a contradiction with Mr. Crow's statement, You'd better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusations. I've only got a shing single shot at this. I've got to be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I'll need. Yeah. So, do not press any statements. 
Do not press any statements on this, on this, uh, on this cross-examination. You press any of them, Francisca's gonna whip you, and I'm pretty sure you're, like, your heart health bar either drops to half, or it goes straight, no, it goes straight to zero if you make a mistake. So, it goes straight to zero if you present, like, the wrong piece of evidence or a wrong, pe uh, wrong piece of testimony. But if you press anything, I'm pretty sure your health bar drops down to half, which I could show you guys right now. And there's no harm in showing you guys. No, just don't press any statements. Do not press any statements. This right here is what you need to present on it. We have evidence. Present the silk hat on... Oh, wait, no, not this one. No, it is this one. Yes, it is. It is this one. Um... Present the silk hat on this statement. That is, this is the only thing you could do that will keep your health bar up, and it's the only correct answer here as well. Objection! This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat that you saw that night, would it? Yup, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind? Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma, where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. Crime scene? That means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. No, that's not true! Order! Order! Mr. Curls! Yes, Your Honor? What is the meaning of all this? You are old enough to know better to, than to behave like this at court. Hey, that's just not right. That's so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Ouch, that's harsh, Judge. Let me guess. You just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go in and tell my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you're sitting above me doesn't mean you belong- Oh, okay. He's ranting. Okay. Okay, why are we- Okay, this is a big back- What? Uh, 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 this is a big day before- he's, he's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene- Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a different statement. He left the scene? What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo. What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, uh, he went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Objection. Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. Objection. This witness's testimony is so full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on the matter. Is that alright with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a baby. Oh, oops. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? The answer's obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I suspected, you'd say. You sure that's how that happened? Say hey, what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter a story as to how the criminal left the scene? We do. We have the crime photo. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there! Okay. So, Mo, how exactly did the criminal escape the scene? Um, uh, he, uh... Your Honor, this witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car you came to court in. Wait just one second! You guys just can't ignore everything I've said! Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time! You 
wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse than they get before they get better. Mr. Lawrence Curls. Yes? The testimony you provided up until now has been false. It hasn't been false, I haven't lied, it's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. Order! Order! I will have order! Francisca Von Karma, how could you? Your Honor, if you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. And what opinion is that? It's not funny. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen what he, to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say you saw, Mr. Curls. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. All right, let's hear the truth. Now it's time for our next segment, Mo Knows. Everything I've said up to now has been the truth. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's what I saw. He... This is the truth now. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped and flew through the air. He flew right off and disappeared into the darkness. That's why there are no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Well, that was, um... How do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of the crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. You, you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why would you believe me? Especially since it's the best part of the story. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Wright? His eyes are telling, playing tricks, he's telling the truth, or this is all a dream, right? It doesn't really matter what you say, because the response is the same either way. But, he's telling the truth. What he just said was so strange, I don't think he would have made it up. Which means that he is telling the truth? That's what I think. Nick, wait! That means that Max actually used magic! Yikes, you're right. No, that's not what he means. Only a foolish-looking fool could be fooled by such foolish fool's foolish dream. Don't be ridiculous. Magic does not exist. Well, I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. You imbecile! If you disregard a need for proof, Ms. Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. It's an undisputed fact that no, the criminal left behind no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um... Uh... I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. More investigation. Uh, what, 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 were you not paying attention? That's what I want to know. I say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm axing this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? Uh, yeah, no, we know, we know it's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on stage. Well, that's because he uses strings. 
and uses some wires. Yeah. It's just like how stunt people do it in movies. It, it's, ju it's just like how stunt folks do it in movies. We made you break a magician's creed and never reveal the secret to their tricks. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope to find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea! Let's do our best and catch this sucker! Like I said, I do like the conclusion of this case. I like the conclusion of this case. But, we're not gonna get there for a while. So until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Tomorrow we'll continue, we'll continue on with the investigation. But until then, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!